Hey, what's up, everyone? It's going to be a StarCraft 2 game. It's going to be Zerg versus Protoss. Upper left versus top right. So he's got the first pylon. And the reason why he puts it down here is just get the wall started. You got to get a wall started in case the Zerglin does a bug rush or a Zerglin rush. So many small bugs. That it will overwhelm him if he doesn't have a wall. I know, watch if he's going to do that trick. So he's scouting. Scouting that Protoss, see what's going on over here. We're going to see what's going on. Ooh, interesting stuff. Interesting stuff going on over here. Very interesting. Is this going to sit on this? Very interesting. Very interesting. Okay, so we got the... Oh, he's going to go for three fast bases. Zerg can't do it. But if... If the Protoss sees that he has to attack kind of quick and start killing drones, or he's going to be outproduced and in trouble, most likely. Get an overload over here. I know it's called an overlord. Is it an overlord? It's just a freaking floating balloon bug. Looks like he should be underwater. I don't know. But anyway, here we go. So you see, he's got a hole in the wall right there. He can block off. Uh oh, free overlord. Where's the overlord gonna go? He's not gonna get out of there. So usually you could yeah, let it go. It's weird. So usually you could block the wall off. Where is he distracting? Oh. I did not even see that. I did not even see the juggling running. I was not even paying attention. Because I was so busy looking at that drone like an idiot. So here we go. Oracle receiving. It's going to be looking for drones to kill. Oh, that goop, that goop is real good. That goop is real good and the goop makes him run faster. So his third base right here. Boom, boom, three gateways. Third base coming up for Protoss. Zerg has been on three bases for quite a while. But they kind of got to get the army going. Oh, is it? Look, a secret secret star gate. Actually, that's kind of strange. I, I mean, it's kind of strange to have it right there, but. He does not see it. Forces under attack. So 
Just got the upgrades going. Armor and range. So he's gonna go for Zer for Roaches, Hydras, or something ranged. You can actually look for what building is he making. Okay, I see uh Rotron, so you know he's going for Roaches. Hydralis down, so you know he's going for Hydralis. But also they morph into other bugs. So remember that. These guys, Hydralis can move into Lurkers. Evolution complete. Now the Overlord is starting to notice what's going on with these starships over here. So he's like, he's gonna, well, four oracles, that's a lot. But if you just kind of like have them sit around, they get a lot, they get up to 200 energy, which is quite a bit. He is going to really, really hard drones if he goes near with four oracles. It's going to be a massacre of drones. Okay, now. Now he's that good goop. They like that good goop right there. Still, we got a. Scouting with the overseer. Does he have speed upgrade? I think he might have speed upgrade. Here comes the big attack. Oh, and this Oracle's actually getting free hits in on. The protest is starting to look like he's in good shape. But. 46 to 45. They actually do quite even with the army. They're actually pretty e totally even with the army. Now, Roaches are going into Ravagers during the cocoons. Okay, now it's going to get chaotic now. Protest looks like he's doing well. Oh, he's got the immortal. Big tanky immortal. Take a lot of damage and do a lot of damage. Okay, Zerg is in trouble. Well, he's under attack. Let's see how he can defend. I got they clean. He has the whole freaking map freaking slimed up. He's got some good production, so the Zerg is not going down easily. In fact, he might go, not even go down at all. A little bit crazy game. So these Zealots actually could help. Help quite a bit. Tanking the hits with the Zealots. Looks like Protoss is winning, but... Not 100% sure. Oh yeah, his his army value is starting to fall. 38. He's but he, his army value technically is only a little bit behind by five. But huh? The guy that's watching this or a diamond that he thinks it's over. He thinks so. Uh, maybe maybe not. But he could afford to lose this space because he's still gonna have some stuff. But it's actually gonna hurt him a lot. Here comes the Oracle. See, does he have a, Okay, he's getting another base here. Not Zerg. Zerg is very low on minerals. So he can't really make a whole bunch of base defenses. Or spine crawlers. Oh, he could do this. Does he have any observers? Nope. Okay, he'll die if he attacks this right here. He'll die. I think the Protoss 
kind of knows kind of knows that they're there oh look he's got some vision on it oh wow he got the vision on the guys that are underground that's interesting I don't see that too often so now he's gonna send okay getting the fourth base ready Okay, Zerg is actually sl a slightly higher skill level overall, but doesn't guarantee he's going to win. He's a slightly higher, because he's the leader of the clan, and the other guy's just a guy in the clan. So, holy shit, he's going to attack. Oh, this is kind of wacky right here. I thought his mineral count was so low that now he's going to, he's got really good control. It's freaking suck. It's I mean, insane. Holy shit. Where's his observers? Oh, there they are. You gotta give a couple hydralists to kill his observers and the overseer. Actually, even if you can see him, they can still kill him. Oh my, this guy's in, this guy's freaking, whoa. This guy's pretty damn good. He's, look, look at how his, he's spending the mineral. I don't think it's the fact that he's, low minerals is the fact that he's spending it perfectly efficiently. He really, wow, man, that is pretty crazy. Good, 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 good game. I thought he was gonna lose when he was losing that base, but, but man, he made another one, and he really freaking, really freaking went crazy. So good game.